Hello again, it's nice to see that you've returned. For more art adventures, we're gonna have fun and do some art with culture too. Cause every day is special. Hello there, my special, special K5 to grade twos up there at OPK School. I'm so excited to be back again. It's me, Lance Cardinal, here for some more art adventures and I'm so, so excited. I'm so glad to see your smiling faces and I'm so proud to be in your good graces. That's right, you guys. As always, I'm so, so proud to be from the Big Stone Cree Nation, just like you up there all the way in Treaty 8 territory in Wabasca. And hey, everyone, guess what? It is Christmas time very, very soon. And this is the last episode we're going to be doing before Christmas holiday. So it's a very special Christmas episode. You can see here I have all my Christmas decorations, including my little tree here, which I absolutely love. That's right. It's so, so cool. So Anyway, before we do anything else, as always, we have to say hello. And of course, how do we say hello to each other? That's right, we say... Tansi! That's right, so on the count of three, nice and loud, all the way up there at OPK School, I want to hear you guys say Tansi. Are you ready? On the count of three. Piak, Niso, Nensto, Tansi! Wow, right on you guys, as always, so nice and loud and nice and amazingly powerful, just like we are as a nation. And now it is time for the Cree word of the day. That's right, the Cree word of the day, as always, this is the word that we learned today or that we have learned that's going to talk about our craft today and what's going on in the world right now. So let's learn our Cree word. Are you ready? All right, here it is. It is. That's right. And that means Christmas. That's right. Actually, it means going to mass time. But that's what we're going to say today is it means Christmas. And that's what today's episode is all about. That's right. Christmas time. And you know what? What's the best thing about Christmas? Sometimes I think the best part about Christmas is seeing your family and friends and hanging out together and food and all sorts of celebrations and presents and especially Santa Claus coming to your house and to make sure you've been a good boy or girl and bringing you all those presents. So, so exciting. So today our craft is going to be based on this little Christmas tree and today's word is Christmas. So. I bet you our craft will be something to do with that. So let's check it out. Are you ready to see it? All right, here it is. Today's craft is a Christmas tree ornament. That's right, check this out. It is so cool. It's such a cute little tree with pom-poms and stars and a little hanger and it can go right on your Christmas tree at home. Or maybe you can hang it up in your classroom. Or maybe even give it away as a gift for Christmas. Whatever you want to do, this is what we're making today. And I absolutely love it. Now, of course, we always have an assistant hold our craft so we can see what it's going to do. But let's make Mr. Santa Claus hold our craft today. All right, Santa? Would you mind holding our sample? There it is right there. Oh, yes, he's going to hold it for us just like that. We can still see Santa and we can put our special art project right there. Amazing. All right, so the first thing we always do whenever we start these projects is get our supplies together. Okay, for today's special project, we're gonna need some green paper and also some yellow paper. So I have both of those right here. We're also gonna need some pom-poms. Oh no, we lost our special, special assistant. There it is. We're also gonna need some pom-poms and I happen to have a whole plate of pom-poms right here. Check it out. I love pom-poms, they're so fun. All sorts of different sizes, all sorts of different colors, everything I need to make my tree ornaments. Next, I'm gonna need some string to hang it up with. So here we have a whole bunch of string we're gonna cut up and use a little bit later to hang our ornament. And of course, we're gonna need some tape and some glue. So today I have some clear tape and also we're gonna need some scissors. And the glue we're gonna to use today, you guys know very well that I love to use a glue gun, but you can use whatever kind of glue that you have at your school. 
Well, my glue's getting all stuck, so I'm gonna put my glue gun right there, but you can also use white glue or clear glue or glue stick, whatever you want. But this is my kind of glue meant for adults and teachers like me, so I can use it safely. But if you wanna try using a glue gun, you'll have to try it at home with your mom or dad or your guardians to make sure that you're gonna be using it safely, all right? And don't forget, you can always ask for help if you need it. That's what the life's all about, always being ready to ask for help whenever we need it. And that's what all our moms and dads and guardians and cookums and brothers and sisters and everyone we love, they're always ready to help us whenever we need it. So don't be afraid to ask. Okay, looks like our tree's a little shaky today. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's begin the project. I love to do these crafts with you. Today's a special Christmas day. I hope you're excited too. We're gonna do a craft like this so cool. And maybe you can hang it somewhere in your school. That's right, you can do whatever you want with this magical craft as soon as we're finished. It's gonna be so, so beautiful. And I know you're gonna do an amazing job because it's your art and it's never wrong. Isn't that the best part? So fun. All right, let's begin. First thing we're gonna do everyone is get our green piece of paper. Now, we're gonna fold our paper like an accordion. Does everyone know what an accordion is? An accordion is this amazing stretchy instrument with a, with a fold in the middle and you go <laughs> So cool, we're gonna fold our paper like an accordion which is back and forth and back and forth. All right, so we have our green paper here. We're gonna fold it in each direction. And only to fold it maybe about that much, not too much. So we'll go this way first, flip it over, and go the other way. Flatten it down, flip it over, fold it, flatten it down, and keep going. Now you can use whatever kind of green paper you have. If you have construction paper, or maybe you have cardstock like I do, but hey, you can also use old magazines that are green, maybe even fabric that's green, whatever you have that's green, that's gonna be able to fold back and forth to make yourself an accordion type craft. All right, I'm almost done my folding. It's a little bit difficult and it might take you a little while, but remember what I said, don't be afraid to ask for help. That's what teachers are there for. So I have all mine now all folded just like that. Now, do you see what an accordion looks like? That's what it looks like. It folds back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna take our folded accordion and we're going to tape it on one end, just the top, like that. I'm gonna take my clear tape and right on the top there. Now, take a look. It's already looking like the tree. Isn't that cool? And also, it can be a fan if you're cold or hot. Are you feeling hot, Santa? Okay, <laughs> I think he's pretty happy right there. We'll give him some fanning. <laughs> so now we have our tree ready to go just like that. Now we wanna make sure our folded end is facing to the back, okay? That's how we're gonna work, just like this. Perfect. All right, the next step we're gonna do is cut out a star for the top. Let's move our tree to the side for a minute and get our yellow paper. Now I'm gonna grab myself a pencil, just give me one second. Here we go. Now I'm gonna draw a star first on my yellow paper so I can cut it out. But I think your teacher probably has a star shape for you to trace, or maybe even a piece of yellow paper with a star already drawn on it. You just have to cut it out. But I'm gonna draw mine myself because I have lots of experience drawing. Let's use a nice bright marker today. So you can see what I'm doing. I wanna make a star that's pretty big like that one that's gonna be able to be seen on top of the tree, so let's draw it now. First we draw the top, and the sides go out like that, and then down again like this, and then down that way, and that way, and then this one goes like this, and this one goes like this, and there we go. There's my star. <laughs> and it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because this is how I draw it. So it's perfect just the way I did it. So now I cut that star out, get rid of all the scrap paper. Like I say, 
Always clean up your mess when you're working. You don't want to leave any messes for moms or dads or teachers to clean up after you're done. You always clean up your own mess. That's just the right thing to do. And I know all you boys and girls out there are always going to do the right thing and pick up all your messes. All right, let's cut out our star. We take our scissors, follow the lines, and cut out the star. Perfect. And there it is. The star is done. <laughs> star, star. I love the stars. They sparkle in the sky. I love the stars for here or here or wherever I want. <laughs> All right, let's take our star. We have it right here. Look at that. Isn't that fun too, to have a hole where the star used to be? So fun. Put that in the trash bin and let's work on our star, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is glue our star onto our tree. Now, where do you think we should put our star? Hmm, on the bottom? No, I don't think so either. What about the middle? Hmm, you're right, that doesn't go there. That's right, the star goes right on the very top. So let's get some glue and put it in place. So like I said, I'm using a glue gun today, which is a very, very hot glue, but you can always use your school glue or even a piece of tape if that's what you want to do. So you put our star and glue it right on the top there. There we go. The top of the tree is done. It looks almost the same as the other one. Perfect, let's keep going. All right, our next step we're gonna do is to glue on some pom-poms. This is such a fun part. Look at all these different pom-poms. Now, how many should we use today? You know what? I think maybe we'll pick eight, eight pom-poms. So let's count them out together. Are you ready? One, two, three, pom-poms, pom-poms, four, five, six, pom-poms, pom-poms, seven, <laughs> Eight, eight, eight little pom-poms, perfect. Now you can see right here we have all eight pom-poms. I think maybe we should try it again, but this time let's count in Cree, okay? I think I'm gonna switch out one of my red ones for a blue one, perfect. Just like that. All right, ready to count these pom-poms in Cree? Here we go, together. Piak, Nisa, Ninsta, Niwa, Nianan, Katosik, Tipagup, Ainanyu. That's right, it's eight. Let's count them again. Here we go. Piak, Nisa, Ninsta, Niwa, Nianan, Katosik, Tipagup, Ainanyu. That's right, eight amazingly pom pommy pom poms. And we're gonna put these beautiful pom poms all over our tree as our Christmas ornaments. Now, you don't have to use pom poms on your tree. You can use whatever you want. Maybe you have some fun Christmas stickers you wanna put on there. Maybe you have some little mini ornaments you can poke through and hang on the tree, whatever you want. Teacher probably has some amazing things for you to use in your classroom to make this tree. But today, we're gonna use pom poms like this one. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So we're gonna glue these on, of course, and like I said before, I'm using a glue gun, but you can use whatever kind of glue you have in your classroom. So let's start that now. So put our pom-poms to the side, bring our tree right into the center here, and let's glue them on. Now don't worry too much about where you put these pom-poms, it's totally up to you, but try to spread them out as evenly as possible. There's one. Put one down here. Two. And this one here, Ooh, three, this one, four, five, oops, six, seven, and one more pink one. Eight, there we go. Yes, I've put all the pom-poms on my amazing 
accordion style Christmas tree, <laughs> just like that. And doesn't that look so, so awesome and so easy to do? And I just think it's one of the funnest things you can make at Christmas time. But there's one more part we haven't done yet. Can you guess what it is? That's right, the string on the back. We have to have some way to hang it up in the tree, so let's make our string now. We get our string together, find us up a nice, maybe about that long of a piece, and we cut it with our scissors. There. Now we take some tape, and we tape it on the back. In the best place we can think of. All right. I am gonna tape mine on the back of my star. That way it'll hang the star nicely. Here we go. Tape that on the back. There we go. And there we, there we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that everyone. I'm so happy with my tree. It is all done. It looks great. And I bet you yours looks just as good as mine, if not better. And now I have two. Two trees. I have Piak Niso. Piak Niso, Piak Niso. <laughs> and now I bet you guys want to know uh, what I'm going to do with my Christmas trees. Mm, I think I'm going to hang them on my tree at home. Or maybe give them to my mom for Christmas. I'm not sure yet. But whatever the case, I love making things with you. As always, it's been so much fun. My amazing K5 to grade 2s up there at OPK. Thank you for joining me here today for an art adventure with me, Lance Cardinal. It is always a pleasure. And until next time, may the creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. See you guys later. I love my trees. <laughs>